Greetings everyone and welcome to the sixth episode of our Flutter web tutorial series. Last week we looked into how to improve the navigation of our mobile view by enabling to jump to a specific index within our list view. That's why today we are working on improving the navigation of our desktop view. Currently we can only go to another page by clicking on the corresponding tab in the top navigation bar. After today's video we will be able to navigate by simply swiping to the left or right and by clicking on these arrows which we will be creating ourselves. But before we start I quickly wanted to thank you all for tuning in and following my tutorials. We've just passed the 100 subscriber mark and this is really much more than I'd ever thought of achieving with this channel. Your participation and positive feedback is much appreciated and encourage me to keep making these tutorials. If you enjoy my content and haven't subscribed yet, I'd love you to consider clicking on that subscribe button because it really tells me that my work and the effort I put into these videos is helping you. Alright, enough talking, let's get into it. You can see I've added some new placeholder content to the about page in the meantime. I've uploaded all the source code to my GitHub repository for which you can find the link in the description down below. So go check it out. Now the first thing we want to do is to be able to swipe to a new page. This interaction is particularly nice if people were to open the website on a tablet device for example. To enable swiping simply go to our desktop view in the home page file and change the physics to be always scrollable scroll physics. If we reload the page, we can see that we can now swipe to a new page. The swipe navigation is nice for touch devices, but if we were to use a mouse for example on a laptop or desktop computer, swiping isn't really an intuitive way of navigating. That's why in addition to our top navigation bar, we want to add navigation arrows to the side of each page allowing to be clicked on and then animating to the next or previous page. For this we are creating an individual widget in a new Dart file which we will call navigation arrow. Since we have either a back or forward arrow, let's keep it simple and take in a boolean value in the constructor checking if this navigation arrow is supposed to be a back or forward arrow. In the build method we want to return a white icon button with a transparent splash color. Now for the icon itself we want to show a back item if our boolean is back arrow is true or a forward icon if it is false. For the on pressed method we are facing a little problem now. Once we press the icon button, we need to access our current tab controller and use its animate to method. So we somehow need to make the tab controller available to our navigation arrow widget. Now we want to keep it as simple as possible here and therefore simply create this inherited widget which I call tab controller handler. The only thing this inherited widget does is allowing all child widgets to access the tab controller we defined in here. So a good place to put the tab controller handler is as a parent widget of our tab bar view, since in the tab bar view we will be placing all the navigation arrows. Once we added the tab controller handler here, we can go back to our navigation arrow widget and access the tab controller by writing tab controller handler dot off, give it the current context and access its tab controller. Now we can go to our onPressed method and call the animateTo method. Again, depending on our boolean value, we either animate to the previous or the next index. The only thing left to do now is to add the arrows to our pages. Let's do it for the about view because here we will have a back and a forward button since we want to be able to go back to the home page or move forward to the projects page. Now there's plenty ways of adding the navigation arrows to our page. 
The way I prefer most is to wrap our currently existing desktop view with a stack and add two navigation arrows, one forward arrow and one backward arrow. If we reload the page, our navigation arrows are there, but they aren't properly aligned yet. So let's go back to our navigation arrow widget and wrap our icon button with an align widget. The alignment is going to be in the left center if it is a back button or in the right center if it is a forward button. Let's also already add some padding to it. Again, we distinguish between a right and left padding depending on our boolean value. Now let's reload the page again and we can see that our navigation arrows are properly positioned now. In the meantime I've done the same thing for the home page and projects page as well, so you can see that everything is working nicely now. Alright guys, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always feel free to ask any questions in the comments down below. Have a nice day and hopefully see you next time. Thanks for watching.